Now we're on to the last topic of the day, and I have a feeling that this is the one I feel like I have to tread very lightly on the things I gotta say for it. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's me, Odir, okay, the Review, back again with another video. So for this topic, I gotta say, one, sensitive topic for all, two, it's been a lot, and I have a feeling that, okay, when this comes out, hopefully everybody gets an understanding of what's been going on with these guys, because I have a feeling that this shouldn't go the way that Jeffrey Dahmer series went. A couple of years ago, Netflix released a new miniseries called Monster, the Jeffrey Dahmer story, and I have a feeling that, okay, once they saw how they did that series, Ryan Murphy's and the crew said, okay, so we can do this new anthology series of telling the story of serial killers, real life serial killers to be exact. And we're going to be expanding on showing what happened with them, what happened to the victims, and how exactly they did their murders. But with this story, we're going in a whole different direction where we're going to be talking about the Hernandez brothers and monsters. I myself got into that phase where, okay, I'm going to start learning about all these serial killers and stuff because I have a feeling that when I was a kid in the movies, I'm like, okay, that's just movie stuff. That doesn't happen in real life. But then realizing I'm like, oh, the internet, I can actually search these things up. And looking up all these names and stuff of the things that have happened, I'm like, Okay, that's, whoa, they are valid, but then again, it's wrong knowing exactly what happened at the same time, because it's like, these guys deserve some justice, but the way these guys, and spoiler alert, I feel like, because everybody knows this already, they're still in prison, and they're sentenced there for life without parole, and it's like, that sucks on the bigger half, but the way I want to know is how they're going to explore that type of serious topic in this show, because I have a feeling that... Okay, we saw how with Jeffrey Dahmer, they showed the backstory kind of with his family and piece by piece, you saw, you saw the ways of everyday life with him and his victims of how everything went, like how things could have changed. But I have a feeling with this show, we're not going to be dealing with that type of sensitive topic like that. We're going to be dealing with man on man, actual, not violence, but also the fact that these guys were sexually abused, molested by their own father, and it's like damn these guys dealt with a lot at a young age and it's like i get that these guys deserve justice and payback but at the same time it's like what more can you do because either option these guys had it was still bad either way and i have a feeling that this show is not going to be showing the way that everybody idolized jeffrey Dahmer for a little bit in that short time in 2021 i don't know why that happened because for some reason i don't know why they thought that was the popular thing when I'm like, uh, no, I'm from the early 2000s, and we were more mature than some of the stuff you guys are doing these days on TikTok. With all that out of the way, let's get into the trailer. you to walk me through what happened yep part of this process you're really starting off like that is the two of you reconnecting Show, shooting their parents right in their bedroom room. as brothers eric and i killed our parents together so i'd say that makes us pretty close Now, right? Uh, and they would be proud of us. They would be proud of us. Weird tone shift for the song. I thought that getting rid of them was gonna make me feel better. I'm having these nightmares. You're not getting it. You don't fucking get it, Eric. We did it. We fucking did it. <laughs> Do you sort of grilled cheese and tap water? Yeah. How many shrimp do you have? Like an actual number. Our life was one thing. Money. And we decided we weren't gonna take that anymore. I'm hmm. Starting right now. life and we are never gonna fucking go back you don't 
Yeah, this trailer is like, okay, I'm... You shouldn't be on these guys' side, but it's like... The music deviates from happy to actual trauma and doing that trailer music. Showing the actual tone of the show. Yeah, they're gonna show that. that they would be proud of us. Okay, that was a ride. So yeah, this trailer is not the type of th tone I expected for this thing. I know you shouldn't idolize serial killers, or at least try to make show them off in a good fashion. Because I'm like, yeah, they're still murderers at the end of the day. But it's like. The way that the, they portray the brothers, like the brother relationship, I wouldn't say is going to be a highlight of the show because I feel like those two guys are going to be done with their trauma. They're not going to be feeling any pain from their parents. And that's the thing I feel like, okay, that how are you going to explain that? Because you do see a snippet of the dad just shirtless yelling at something. I'm like, okay. So that tells me this is not going to stray away from the actual abuse and some of the stuff that they were showing because I feel like, okay, with Dahmer, you had a limit showing the murders. You showed one of the heads inside a fridge. You got to show the beating of him in prison. Especially the fact that they actually showed accurately how his face was portrayed at the very end of that thing. So I'm like, okay, they showed that off. How far are they going to go in this show specifically? Because I know I know there's been a lot in um, actual TV shows that they show off. Okay, due to graphic sexual content, we are alerting the viewers first. We're going to be showing that this is a serious show. And hopefully enough all this doesn't affect the way you see entertainment and hopefully you can actually support somebody if you're in need hopefully this show at least shows that okay there's a good side to this and this isn't just like torture porn for the sake of it and i mean torture porn like horror like that's an actual phrase in horror like when you're going too far with graphic content going too far with violence going too far in the story of okay hopefully this isn't too graphic enough but at least it's not there just to be graphic but to show or at least give off a message and say okay this is wrong if you need help counseling stuff about this hopefully the show is there to say you know what i need to look into some resources and actual help so like that they can help me in my real life but part of this trailer actually gives off a bit of tarantino once upon a time in hollywood vibes like i remember when they shot a little teasy trailer for that and i was like this is a happy tone for this movie knowing it's going to be dealing about the mansons but i kind of like the way the trailer montage the song like it showed them at their height like okay they're, they're at their freedom but then slowly as they're getting into the court cases, slowly as they're getting into their descent of, yeah, I'm still thinking about them no matter what. I'm still having nightmares about my parents. The song descends into a whole state of, okay, yeah, fun. It was fun while it lasted, but you're still dealing with the reality of your situation. And you didn't make things better, even though you killed them. And I know those court scenes are going to be a bit troubling, too, because I remember the fact that in the statements, one of the statements in court, and because this was the 90s around the time, it's the feeling of that. At the time, and it's not socially accepted like the world it is today, where not everything is going to be accepted. Because I know there was a whole thing where, okay, the judge already stated that men can't get raped. That is not true. When I'm like, uh, bullshit. Even in prison, that happens. And it's like, okay, so just because you're putting this in the state of court and law, you can't also acknowledge the fact that that is a possibility of ha could that it could happen. And that they were abused as kids too, so it's not like something they were straight away from. And I feel like, okay, they can't acknowledge that it was the 90s. It was a different time. And now that we're in 2024, we already know that, okay, there's a high chance of all this possibility of things happening. But in the 90s, I know it's going to be a struggle when people watch this. And it's like, yeah, bullshit, that ain't true. But me knowing as a kid from the early 2000s, it's like, I know that this everything could happen. Just because somebody says it in court doesn't mean it's not going to happen in real life. <laughs> Who knows like what the law could have been if the, all that was... All the intuitions of what we have in the law today could have been accepted back then. That would have been a high chance of maybe it's true. But back then when it was like, okay, that is not a high chance of that happening. I already know that's going to be a big voice of discussion right after this comes out. Those are my thoughts. And I wanted to get a little bit a little bit serious on this one because I feel like, yeah, stuff like this is like, I know a lot of people don't like that thing of idolizing serial killers. And the fact that these shows make show them stand off more than the victims. That was one of the things with Jeffrey Dahmer, and I feel like, okay, when that show came out at the height of his time, everybody watched it for like a week. It was a one-time watch, and that was it. But then after that, with the whole impact on Halloween, and the fact that everybody was 
idolizing him, buying the glasses, dressing up like him, doing the crazy things he did in school. I'm like, okay, that's disrespectful. I, we didn't even do that in our school. And the fact that people were like, you know what? I have a feeling that when this came out, they were just going to have it be a one-off and done. But then at, after the whole popularity of that whole thing, I feel like, okay, spinoffs. We're not going to be doing with the serious thing, which building a universe. Is, I know that we're not taking it that seriously. We're not going to be building universes of serial killers. We're going to be talking about real-life stories. And the fact that it was the Ryan Murphy estate that did those whole series itself, including American Horror Story. I have a feeling that they saw something in that show where they thought, okay, you know what? We could actually do this telling the story of these people and hopefully they don't try to at least idolize these guys as much because I feel like the tone is everything is different for this. But I'm not going to lie, they had a good setup in that show too. And I remember this too because I feel like, okay, the Jeffrey Dahmer thing, that was the main plot. But also there was this little side intro where they introduced this one character and it's like, he looks familiar. This is taking place in the 90s, right? And I'm looking at my brother. We were watching it like, are you sure that's who I think it is? Because he has the body. These two guys were around at the same time. And when they showed that reveal where it was John Wayne Gacy in that show, I was like, oh, my God, this is genius. Not only the fact that those two serial killers were around at the same time, but it's like, oh, they actually made him scary for this little piece he was in. It wasn't a big integral part of this whole show, but I have a feeling that whatever they're going to do for that, introducing other serial killers out in the world around that same time i think that could happen in this show but i don't know where all right you guys thank you guys for watching leave a like subscribe if you haven't already all my social media is down in the description below and i'll see you guys next time bye guys